Good afternoon, Co-Chairman, Senator Musto, Representative Jatillo, Distinguished Honorable Representative Mr. Wang, and the other representatives here today. My name is Bill Gill, and I'm the Marketing Director for the Kennedy Center in Trumbull. My main responsibility is securing work for those with developmental disability. I'm here to speak in support of making SB 761 a permanent program. Our agency has supported Connecticut citizens with varying disabilities for over 60 years. We could not have accomplished what we have in those 60 years without solid community support in that of our state. The last five years have been extremely difficult financially for the state, businesses in the state, and all nonprofits who serve over 500,000 individuals with disabilities and special needs. The economy downturn, the economical downturn, has made it more difficult to place clients with disability in work. Two very important programs in support of people with disabilities are the Qualified Partnership Pilot Program and the Preferred Purchasing Program. Because of these programs, the Kennedy Center had over 100 consumers with janitorial jobs in 2012. They earned nearly $340,000 while logging an astounding 53,000 hours of work time. That's, those are remarkable numbers. The Kennedy Center thanks the committee in advance for making SB number 761 permanent. We ask for your continued support and applaud you for your foresight in allowing people with disabilities a level playing field to earn and achieve. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Questions from members of the committee? Uh, Representative Wong. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Bill, thanks for coming in, and, um, and thank you for the great work that the Kennedy Center has, has done for our community for over 60 plus years. Um, elaborate a little bit more of what um, the Qualified Partnership Pilot Program is all about, and how do you go about getting employers? Are they contracts with the state? Or are they contracts with private employers in the community? They, they are basically um, competitively bid uh, state c contracts with other uh, nonprofits. And, and basically, I guess they're not set aside, but in a way they are. And it allows us to, um, people with uh, nonprofits with uh, people with disability trying to get janitorial jobs, um, the ability to get work for their people. Through you, Mr. Chair, and, and can you talk to me a little bit more about what the preferred purchasing program is? Is that uh, in conjunction, or is it a separate program? Yeah, that, that is our, our our parent, so to speak, uh, the uh, agency that guides the entire process. They are the father to our to all the nonprofits as far as the um, process of getting the contracts. In your role as director of marketing, wh what do you do? Do you engage with? Uh, private companies in the community or private nonprofits and and how do you proceed in, in getting your clients at the Kennedy Center um, work through these kind of programs take us through and and, and you know director marketing tell the world my, in regards to what you do and how other companies can get more involved my day uh, basically puts me on the street every day with business I call on businesses every day in support of people with disability to get them jobs um, as I said, the downturn in the economy has made things very difficult in the last five years, and one of the great programs has been this pilot program to, to give our uh, clients the ability to have jobs. But um, day in and day out, uh, we find those doors have closed a bit um, out in the workplace for us uh, due to the economy, and, and I hope soon they will uh, reopen. It's been difficult. It's been a difficult process. but. We're very thankful of the program, the pilot program, and the insight of the committee here to uh, allow people with uh, disability and advantage getting jobs. When you, when you talk about the clients and the people with disability in your organization, you're, you're looking at uh, developing disabled clients that come into your organization, and what the Kennedy Center does for them is they develop skills, they develop social skills, they develop adaption skills. And, and explain a little bit more. So they're actually put into the workplace and, and earn a living and earn their keep and, and progress toward independent living 
Could right. you elaborate a little bit about that? Yeah, in, in the end, that's the, that's the goal. Uh, the entire goal is to have our clients out in the community working amongst other people. Um, we have uh, a training staff that trains our people on how to do the janitorial work they do. We have job coaches who go out on the job site with the, um, with the clients and proceed through all the client contracts we do for the state uh, from beginning to end. And um, like I said, we have over 100 clients that are trained to go out and do the work this, that the state has to offer. And the, bed, the bids we have won, uh, we continually get more people coming in through our, through our doors. Uh, we continue to train. We continue to – we look for other outlets. We have, uh, we have landscaping uh, uh, work for clients. We have other, other things we do. But the janitorial by far is the biggest um, enterprise we have at the Kennedy Center, and, and it's been um, – it's been a boon to have it for, for our clients. It's opened the doors for them to work, be a part of the community. And, and that's why 761 is so important to us. It, it just, it's just helped so much. It's, it's just unbelievable how much help it's given us. You're talking about uh, not only from an employment standpoint, um, you, you're talking about a, a, a balance of quality of life of for your clients at the Kennedy Center. What, what, what does it do for them as a part of your overall you know, adaptive and rehabilitating, rehabilitating services? Well, the biggest thing is interaction. They get to interact in the community. They get to get out and work, have a real job. Um, otherwise, they might be in a workshop all day long, sitting in a workshop, trying to uh, do things in a workshop. Uh, without these types of jobs, uh, you know, it limits their ability to get out into the community, to become part of the community, uh, to be accepted. And, and that's very, very important. It's an important part. Um, the Kennedy Center is one of the few programs that take uh, people from practically birth to death all through their life. Uh, we have group homes where, where our, many of our clients live in the group homes uh, that we offer. Um, we have expanded our services tremendously over the years. And quite frankly, we've, we've taken on work that the state has, has uh, passed down to us um, because we're very, very uh, fiscally lean on how we operate and uh, we can do it at a very very good cost so it's been a process where, where we can get our clients out there get them the community experience get them the the lifelike experience that we we have here every day and let them go to a job and let them work and let them fail and let them achieve and let them succeed and, and the whole thing that we want we want in life they get to enjoy because of programs like this and your work doesn't just stop there, right? It, it continues on as what you talked about, group homes, independent living that uh, you, you cover li virtually from birth to um, birth to death. Just about. Right? And, and you, through this type of work, through this type of work opportunity and interaction, you're allowing these individuals to continue and live independently in the group home setups, which is one of the oldest things the Kennedy Center has as well, right? Yes, that is that is that is the probably the ultimate goal in my experience. What I would what I would want for the clients is, is for all of them to be in group homes. Unfortunately, they can't all be in group homes, but that's the ultimate goal. And and when they when they live and interact together in a group home in, in that type of setting, it, it's a wonderful thing. And we have the Kennedy Center has many 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 people in a group home, and it's just uh, those seem to be our happiest clients. Those seem to be the the. Uh, the, the the clients with the smiles on their faces and having having a good time in life and uh, being able to work is, is an important thing. It's an important avenue and it's important for their families because the support they get from the jobs that are created here are, are uh, a help to the families and their incomes. So it, it has a dual purpose also there. Well, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you for your time and and I also want to acknowledge and 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 thank the uh, Chairman Musto for proposing this bill and uh, uh, look forward to its uh, passage out of this committee. Thank you.